combat medic, Alan Ho, received one of Uncle Sam's special invitations to serve his country. He was drafted. Uncle Sam, through its process of elimination, um, um, said, well, this, this guy probably should become a medic. And, and of course, um, I, I, I thought that was pretty neat. And so I got involved with that and, and, and did it um, you know, very willingly and with great enthusiasm, if you will. Being a combat medic is a special calling. On Mother's Day, 1968, um, our unit was tasked with kind of an unusual mission to help provide security for a Green Beret camp that was going to be evacuated. At the end of the day, my unit got overrun by a large enemy force, and I lost 18 men on Mother's Day, 1968. The nature of that combat action was such that those men were left on the battlefield. And my lieutenant and several of my very close buddies were missing in action for in excess of 35, 37 years. The tumultuous times of the 1960s got to the point where I think it was the first time where our leaders were questioned about uh, whether or not this decision to go to war was appropriate or not. For the kids growing up in Hawaii, uh, you know, I'm a 1965 high school grad. That period of time, it never dawned on me that um, the decisions made by our political leaders were to be questioned in any regard. Soldiers probably are the ones that hate war the most because at the end of the day, um, they're the ones who carry the burden.